Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas' premier roofing contractor. The Professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. P.M.P. Mary and Monarch Boys get set for a matchup with the Trigo Golden Eagles. Our pregame show brought to you by Hertz Rent a Car, serving you from 609 East 8th Street with clean, high quality vehicles with many options. If you need more room for a family vacation or a car that gets excellent gas mileage for your next business trip, call 785 623 4164 your reservation. Just heard from Coach Bill Mayer. His thoughts on the pregame show brought to you by Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker. Time for us now to take a look around the MCL or look around the MCL. Brought to you by HayesPost.com. And it's a log jam atop the MCL. Hoxie at 3 0, followed by Ellis and TMP, both at 4 1. Or rather, Ellis and Trigo at 4 1. TMP as at 3 1. Phillipsburg at 4 2. And then kind of everybody else from 6 through 12. So this is a key matchup. And the race for the Mid-Continent League, of course, everybody facing that very, very good Hoxie Indian team atop the MCL. Elsewhere tonight at uh, Stockton, Ellis on the road there to take on the Tigers. Russell and Plainville battling in Plainville tonight. Smith Center is at Hoxie. And then also tonight, Oakley at Phillipsburg. Two non, uh, actually just one non-league game tonight for the Norton Blue Jays. They have a matchup with the Colby Eagles there in Norton. That's our score, or that's a look around the MCL brought to you by HayesPost.com. Monarchs and the Trigo Golden Eagles getting set to match up here in this one. The Monarchs and the Golden Eagles will get this one started here in just a moment. We're going to take our final time out of the pregame show. We'll come back and uh, get your starting lineups after this from Mount Billinger Fieldhouse on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor. The Professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. at them here from Al Billinger Fieldhouse as we welcome you back courtside to the Fieldhouse for the TMP Marion Monarchs play host 
to the Trigo Golden Eagles in a mid continent league of matchup on this Friday evening. I'm Jonathan Swigert along with our studio producer and engineer Jeff Leiker and our Hayes Post producer Harrison Brents. They are going to run through the starting lineups on the floor. We can run through those for you as well. We start for the Monarchs and coach uh, Bill Mayer in his third season. They will be in the home white uniforms and they will start to Lucas Lang, the 5'10 senior, Jace Wentling, the 6'1 junior, along with the 5'11 junior, Bryce Sibes, 6'1 senior, Jackson Schulte, and the 6'6 sophomore, Dylan Worth. Coach Bill Mayer in his third season as head coach of the TMP Marion Monarchs, looking for win number 40 as a head coach of the TMP Marion Monarchs. Meanwhile, for the Trigo Golden Eagles, they will go with Kobe Schubert, the 6'3 senior. Cole Felt is a 5'11 junior. Tyler Malsom, the 6'3 senior. Charlie Russell, the 6'1 junior. And then Caden Brown, a 5'10 junior. Charlie Russell there, leading scorer on the season. Averaging 14 and a half points per contest as we take a look at the Trigo Golden Eagles. This is a, a Golden Eagle team that is pretty balanced. They get one guy who averages in double figures in Russell, and then they have two guys in Felt and Schubert who average right around eight points per contest. So it's really Russell and then and then everybody else just right below him kind of helping that balanced attack for Coach Sean Dryling, who is in his fifth year as head coach of the Trigo Golden Eagles. Of course, Coach Dryling played at Fort Hayes State for Coach Mark Johnson. Then Coach Mayer will go with Lucas Lang, Jace Wentling, Bryce Sad, Jackson Schulte, and Dylan Worth. Schulte continues to lead the way for TMP at over 18 points per contest. At a score double figures, 12 of his last 13 season or 13 games. Lucas Lang coming off of those 20 points in the uh, victory or in that uh, loss rather to Abilene. Trigo will be in the road blue uniforms with the black numbers and Trigo across the front, trimmed in gold. Give Trigo a lot of credit there. Jerseys are always uh, pretty interesting, and whether the girls are at home, that the numbers are white on white and almost impossible to read, or here on the blues, so that uh, the dark blue, that purple, the black almost uh, not easy to read as well. Trigo, that road blues will start down to our right with the basketball. So I'll swing it for Felt left side. Felt trying to get Brown here at the top of the key. One dribble, plays it right side for Schubert. Schubert got a screen from Russell. He'll pop to the right side and pull up and uh, too strong. Rebound into the hands of Jace Wentling. Pretty good defense for Wentling and then he gets the rebound as TMP's Bryce Sam will race to the other end. Schulte will swing it for Jace. Wentling surveys the defense. One dribble, now to the high post to go for Worth. The 6'6 sophomore guarded by the smaller Russell. Gets it to Cyber, right elbow. Now to the baseline to go for Wentling. Jace finds Lang off the screen and they say traveled with it. TMP will give it back on their first possession. Trigo got a missed shot on their opening possession as we welcome you aboard in this one. Trigo comes in ranked number 10 in class 2A. So they earned the rankings for the first time this year. Winners of five of their last six, two of their losses to Hoxie. TMP knows all about that. Here's a pass deflected and stolen. Side, or rather, Whitley got a piece of it. It was taken away by Lang. Schulte hesitates into the front court, right side. He'll hang, can hit. Worth kept it alive for a moment, but it's into the hands of the junior Tyler Molson for the Trigo Golden Eagles. Felt bangs into Lang, offensive foul, and we go back the other way. The junior uh, felt just a little bit out of control, and Lucas was in the right position at the right time. It'll be a foul and a turnover. Trigo, TMP will get it back. Trigo turns it over on that possession, and now the Monarchs with Saib walking it across the timeline. 6.50 to go, still no score yet in this one. Lang has it left side. High post they go, straight on for Schulte, right side to side. Finds Worth, Dillon will slide down the lane and draw the foul with a chance at a three-point play. A sophomore with a little hesitation in the lane, got it to go, and TMP takes a 2-0 lead on the Worth bucket. Caught on Charlie Russell, the junior. Worth averaging just shy of 12 points a game at 16 in the loss against Abilene. Rainbow free throw rattles around and it falls. TMP takes a 3 0 lead as Dylan Worth gives the Monarchs an early lead as he converts on that free throw. 
6.40 and counting, first quarter. Back the other way, Felt with it. He'll play it off to the left side as they go to Caden Brown. Brown guarded by Schulte, now to Charlie Russell. Russell and Wintling go at it. Russell trying to back him down, and we're going to get a foul on Jace Wintling as he and Russell get tangled up. The foul on Wintling is his first. Oh, and they call a lane violation on Russell. He went over and back on the free throw violation. And so he'll only get one, and it's too strong, and we're down with a rebound. Russell misses his only free throw attempt. Monarchs leading 3 0, 620 to go, first quarter. Whitling straight on, will give it to Worth. Left elbow, guarded by Russell, had it poked away, ball taken away by Felt. Felt will play it up the floor to Russell, spins against Schulte, goes in and can't bank it home. Whitling down with a second rebound. Pretty good defense for TMP. Whitling will race up the front court, left side, Jace all the way to the bucket and draws the foul. It'll be the first on Molson. Whitling has been the aggressor on this one. And Jace is going to shoot two free throws. You love the athleticism that Jace brings. Gavin Unrind, who won't play tonight due to a back injury, and Ian Chu bring. We talked about it with Coach Mayer as this one rattles off for Wentling, just a 50% free throw shooter. But these will only be his 15th and 16th free throws of the season. I think you want Jace to be more aggressive. You've got to have, I think, more from Jace and his athleticism as he misses both free throws. Molsom got fouled. They're going to call a hold on Schulte. And Schulte was the one being held trying to track down the rebound. He tried to fight through it and Jackson will pick up his first foul. foul on the well, uh, Wetland goes 0-2 at the line. Six minutes to go here in this first quarter. 3-0 TMP with the lead thanks to a three-point play from Worth to start this ball game for TMP. Out of the front court, Felt for Russell. And student section here for TMP. Left side, Felt finds Schubert off a of screen. Guarded by Saib, and they're going to call the foul on the floor. As Bryce will be called for the blocking foul, working against Schubert. It'll be the first down, Bryce Saib. We'll see how that matchup goes. Saib giving up space to the six foot three Schubert. Runs the point. Brown has it. The junior, Caden, finds Russell into the lane. He'll kick it right side. Felt won't shoot it. Now he's guarded by Syme. Got him off balance. Can't shoot it. Now to Schubert with it. And now Russell. He had dropped it, used up his dribble, then used it again. Leaning into Whitling. Drives, kicks it for Balsam. He'll take the three and ties the ball game on the baseline. Balsam drains the first three of the game. Tyler Balsam earns fire, averages five and a half points a contest. Now here's a deep answer from the right side for Schulte. No good. And they get worth on the back of Charlie Russell. Russell will get his first rebound of the contest. Monarchs miss their first three of the contest. And Worth will check out. Trenton Romy comes in for the first time for TMP. And the Monarchs with no gamut on ride today after injuring his back. He was banged up in that Abilene game. Also, Trevin Brown checks in for the first time. The 5'9 senior for the Trigo Golden Eagles. Russell will give it up, now go get it back. Play it from Balsam left side, who just knocked down that three. Balsam to the baseline they go for Charlie Russell. Russell working against Wintling. He's gonna drive in, stop, hang, and can't hit. Rebound on the deck, Wintling will take it away. Jace has three first quarter rebounds. Up the floor, Schulte left side. He'll get open for the jumper, left it short, and rebound poked out of bounds. Last touch they said by Trigo. Wintling knocked that off of Gunnar Wilson, the sophomore who was into the contest for the first time. These teams will go deep into their bench as Miles Modine will check in for the first time. Modine, the six foot junior, replaces Charlie Russell. So now there's really no big out there for the Trigo Golden Eagles. Monarchs will lob it over the top for Lang, right back to the right side for Schulte. Schulte for Syme, and they'll swing it left side for Wintling. Wintling finds Schulte off the screen, hesitates, got inside the free throw line, hangs, and he hit it off the back of the iron, has a chance at a three point play. TMP leads five to three as Jackson Schulte with that hesitation got him free and then got the foul as well. And TMP leads by two at five to three. He's got a chance at a three point play. Brown will pick up the foul. That'll be the first on Trevin Brown. And now the Monarchs will bring Ian Chu into the contest. Kate Harrison as well. 
So here are the student section opposite us, cheering for Ian as he checks into the contest and Schulte knocks down a free throw. TMP doubles up Trigo on a three point play. Two of them in fact. As Schulte converts on that one at six to three. Four and a half to go in this first quarter. Wilson drives, kicks it right side for Modine and now to Brown. Schubert working against Kate Harris. It's in the ball game. Molson now off to the left side for Gunnar Wilson. Wilson's pass for Brown. Brown will work in between the circles. Drive, kick it right side for Molson. He's got the three guarded by Romy drives, now turns, has it blocked, and then a late foul called against Trenton. Pretty good defense by Romy. Coach Bill Mayer will chat with the official. Balsam had nowhere to go. Yeah, I don't think there was a lot there. So Romy will pick up his first foul and two free throws for Balsam. Tyler has four in the early going, is a 63% free throw shooter. And at six to four, Molson averages five and a half again. Molson already with four, and he'll make one of two at the line. And Trenton Romy down with his first rebound as Chu went spilling to the deck. Cade Harris will race into the front court. Cade directs traffic right side for Schulte. Schulte finds Lang across the screen. Out of Harris with it left side. Chu will flash to the high post and said they'll set it up. Lang holds out four fingers on the left hand. They'll kick it right side for Schulte. Jackson got a screen from Romy, kicks it left side for Lang. Harris back to Schulte, right side. Jackson searching, now goes to the high post. Chu swings it left side, Harris. Kick it all the way around right side. Lang on a pass from Schulte, now back to Jackson with it left side. Here's Harris off a screen to Lang. Lang looking inside. Monarchs find Romy with it. Trenton turns into the defender of Molson. Bobbled it, got it back. Lang drives for Schulte, right side. Now back to Lucas on that right side. DMP left side with it, Schulte. The Trigo fans come to life here. Here's a three that is short by Lang on the deck, tracked down by Kate Harris. Monarch faithful with an answer to the far sideline. 3.08 and counting first quarter. TMP leads six to four. Second chance opportunity. Schulte, who's got a three point play, gives it up and they call a travel on Lang. That's the second time they've called Lang for the travel. TMP with two turnovers. Wentling and Cybe return to the lineup. Chu will check out. Lang checks out as well. So TMP with Harris, Schulte, Cybe, Wentling, and Romy. Russell will return for Trigo. Wilson will run the point. Schubert across the timeline for Trevin Brown right side. Line Schubert with it. Schubert right side for Modine. Modine gives it up. Brown. And now Modine fell down. And they're going to call a push on TMP. Coach Bill Mayer. Says, what happened? They say that Trent Romy pushed him. Maybe some contact from behind. It's the second on Trenton. I think just as much Trenton was a wrong time, a wrong place, the wrong time. You got maybe feet tangled up. It wasn't a lot, but it is a foul. It's the second. Charlie Russell working against Whitling, spins into the base, or spins into the lane and scores it. Game tied at six as Charlie Russell with his first field goal. Ties this ball game with 2.35 to go here in this first quarter. Whitling to the short corner, finds Seib. Now Schulte, he's open off a screen for three and he buried it. Nine to six, Jackson Schulte for TMP. He's got the last six. And TMP takes a three-point lead again at 9-6, to 218 and counting first quarter. Schubert guarded by Harris, both wearing number one. He kicks it right side. Modine won't shoot it. Now to Trevin Brown and Charlie Russell with it. Russell guarded by Whitling, kicks it for Gunnar Wilson, who's three, climbs off, but a rebound on the inside by Modine. Had it knocked away by Syme, but tracked down by Schubert. Another chance for Trigo. Here's a three that's off the mark for Russell, but another Modine rebound. Modine's got two offensive rebounds on this possession and then losing it out of bounds is Brown. It was blocked by TMP. And it'll go back the other way. I think Schulte may have got a piece of that one. And TMP will get it back. That's a break. Two offensive rebounds to the six foot junior Modine. And you just, you can't give up easy rebounds like that. So everybody boxed out, but then nobody really finished going and getting the basketball. 145 to go, first quarter, TMP. Schulte off a screen, feeling it straight on three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes for Jackson Schulte. Timeout taken by Trigo. 
They have doubled up the Golden Eagles at 12 to six. Jackson Schulte, back-to-back -back threes. He scored nine in a row for TMP with a minute 38 to go in this first quarter. Schulte gives TMP a six-point lead. Jackson knocked down that second three here in the first quarter, shooting over 40% from three coming into that one, under, into this one. And boy, did he need that one, helping TMP double up the Trigo Golden Eagles. You can save when you insure both your home and auto with Shelter. See Shelter agent Dustin Shoemaker for details. Told you about our uniform update brought to you by Phase 2. Monarchs in those home whites. After what seemed like forever earlier in the year in those road blues. And while Trigo in their road purple uniforms on our Phase 2 uniform update. Out of the timeouts. Trigo shooting down to our right here in this first half of the basketball as Felt's back in there for Trigo. Gives it up for Russell. Now Felt has it left side. As Cole, one dribble. Now plays it to Owen Day. Owen in for the first time. They double up on Russell against Willing. Has it blocked by Worth. Ball tipped into the hands of Russell who will kick it out for a three that's good for Felt. And it's 12 to nine as Felt was able to get that three. Now TMP back the other way into the inside and scoring it is Worth. Great job by Dylan Worth to take it straight to the bucket. He has five, and the Monarchs answer right back at 14-9 as Worth was able to get free inside for TMP. And we're going to travel straight on. Felt just a little bit too out of control. And the Monarchs will get it back. Turnover for Trigo, number three here in this first quarter. Lang checks in for the Monarchs, replacing Schulte. Side nearly lost it in the backcourt. Bryce will bring it into the front court. Left side for Harris. Not a lag. Right wing, Wentling. Wentling finds side off the screen. Bryce will get it to the baseline as they go to Lang from Harris. Double up on Worth. Wentling right back out to Lang. And now to side. 35 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Into the double team. Worth just scores it anyway on the right side. Worth got four straight for TMP. Seven in the game for him. It's 16 to nine. He turned into the double team and scored it anyway on that left low block. 20 seconds to go, first quarter. Russell guarded by Wintling. It's a fun matchup. Two really athletic four guys that can go at each other hopefully all night long. No foul trouble for either one. Russell, right side, working against Wintling. The double team comes. It skips off. Dylan Worth down with a rebound. Worth will push it ahead. Lang, or uh, rather, side up the floor for Harris, and he beats the buzzer on the scoop shot. Cade had leaked out, Saib was able to force it up the floor, and Harris's bucket gives TMP an 18-9 a lead as we head to the second quarter on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Contact shelter insurance agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor, the professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. From business polos to team gear, your first choice should be phase two screen printing and embroidery with no minimum order plus quick turnaround time. Phase two screen printing and embroidery just out fine on 22nd Street next to Big D's Rental in Hayes. Monarchs lead by nine at 18 to nine. They start the second quarter with a basketball. Schulte off a screen, draws a double team. Sign will get it. Now to Lang on that right side as Lucas will survey the defense, find Schulte with it. Jackson scored nine in a row in that first quarter. Lang. Out of Wintler, or rather side with it, right side. Schulte he draws a crowd every time he touches the ball, gives it up to Wintling. Now back to uh, Schulte as Wintling bobbled it. Jackson will go in and score it with the right hand. What a great take. He's already hit double figures with 11. It's 20 to 9. 
as Schulte has 11 first half points for TMP. It's 7.25 to go here in this first half. TMP leads by 11 at 20 to 9. Russell at the high post, spins on a back door, pass it through it at the feet of Schulte, taken away by TMP. Jackson calls for it up the near sideline, side, back to Schulte. Jackson wanted to shoot it, but right there in his face was Owen Day. Left side, Schulte will go right past Owen Day, drives in and won't score it, but they call an offensive foul on Schulte. I don't think your defender was set, but not a contact. It's the second on Schulte. It's the seventh already on TMP, so that is something we'll keep an eye on. Monarchs will bring Schulte out of the ball game with 11 points the deficit. He's got 11. With seven minutes to go. TMP leads here in this first half, 20 to nine. They bring Harris back into the contest. Left side, Schubert, who's back in, will go to Miles Modine. Modine for Brown. Brown guarded by Harris out. Brown got tripped up by Harris. Their feet got tangled up. Now to Schubert with it. Schubert guarded by Seib. Tried to post up Russell on the right side. TMP reaches down on him. Russell goes in with an offensive foul. Just got a little bit of space, and Whitling was in the right spot at the right time. And will draw the foul. TMP will get it back on the turnover. It's the fifth team foul. It's the second on Russell. So that's big because two all-conference players from a year ago and Schulte for TMP. And then Russell, as we get a foul on the inside called here on Miles Modine, the six-foot junior working against the six-six sophomore Worth. So Russell now with two and Schulte with two. That also is just the sixth on um, Trigo. They'll key it on underneath with Harris to throw it in. Harris gets Lang right side, finds Saib. Bryce set his feet like he was going to shoot it. Instead, they'll swing it back around. Left side, a triple team. And... They're going to call Worth for a travel, but as soon as Worth touched it, Modine put two hands around it. Modine at six foot is going to have his hands full. It will be a turnover on TMP. They called it for a travel. It's his fourth. Lang picking up the pressure against Felt in the backcourt. Right side for Brown. Brown got it by Harris. Got past him. Will go in with a floater. Can't bank it home. Rebound. Fought for. Taken away by Trigo and a foul on Worth inside. This will be... Modine, who gets the offensive rebound. He's already got three rebounds in the contest. That's the second on Worth. Romy, Worth, and Schulte all have three here in the first half, or, or two, I'm sorry, here in the first half for TMP. Modine to shoot the free throw, and it's off the heel too strong. Ian Chu will check in for TMP as he replaces Worth. 20-9, TMP with the lead. Modine will shoot one more. Modine, just a 33% free throw shooter, missed them both. Bryce Seib will rip down the rebound. Seib working against Feld across the timeline. Got a screen of some sorts from Chu. Now they'll look to swing it. Chu waiting, gives it up for Lang. Left side for Seib. Now Harris off a screen. Harris finds two left side. Ian will drive in. Ian goes in and can't score it. Tough play that time. Taken away by Molsom inside. Trigo up the floor left side as they'll get it to Modine. Here's a kick out. Schubert three. Left it short. And we get a foul on Trigo as Molsom just crashed into uh, Kate Harris. And Kate's going to shoot some free throws. Molsom will pick up his second. I know the boys... For TMP, stood in the tunnel and watched the end of that girls game. And I don't know if they saw him let them play, and so they decided that they were going to be physical, but the officials have decided that uh, they're not going to let the boys play as Harris knocks down the free throw. It's been physical, no doubt. Those are fouls, but they let them play a little bit in the girls game. Harris knocks down the first free throw. It's 21-9. to nine. Jade knocked down that layup at the end of the first quarter. Now has three. Goes one of two at the line, and uh, Chu then fouls Schubert coming down for the rebound. So he got him in the side of the face, and we'll go to the other end and shoot free throws. With 5.36 to go here in this first half, 
Chu will pick up the foul. It's his first, and so again, we'll go to the other end and shoot free throws. Schubert, a 77% free throw shooter. Owen Day returns to the Trigo lineup. 21-9, TMP has the lead, 5.36 to go in this first half. First free throw for Schubert is good. 21-10, first point of the game for Schubert. This is our second, actually the third leading score. It's seven and a half a game. Schubert, second free throw, good. Made them both. Schubert's first two points of the game, 21-11. TMP leads by 10. Into the front court with Lang with the right side. Harris with Ian Chu. One dribble, now to Harris right side. Side off a screen. Bryce with the hesitation, got to the free throw line, finds Lang with it. He slipped, used up his dribble, then gave it back to Harris. And now Cade gets the play from the sideline, and Coach Mayer is still going between the circles and start out the offense. Cade will dribble, hand it for Chewy, and left side drives in and will hit Wintling for a long two for about 15 feet out, about 12 feet out. It rimmed halfway down and out. And the rebound ripped down this time by Tree Hill. As Day got it, up the floor, Schubert, little hesitation, follow a jumper, 21 13, Schubert has scored four in a row. He's got four in the contest. Trigo back now within single digits at 21-13. If you're TMP, you gotta find a way to weather the storm. With your two leading scores on the bench with two fouls here in the first half, somebody else has to find a way to carry you here for the next four and a half minutes. Lang drives, hands it for Sign. Bryce will kick it for Harris. So they work the dribble drive. Now to Wentling, Chase drives, kicks the baseline. Lang will take the three and rattle it home. 24-13 on the three for Lucas Lang. Lucas had 20 in the loss to Abilene. See if he can pick up some of that for TMP. This they needed here with three guys with two fouls, including your top two scores. Lang though right there for TMP. Felt will drive right side, get up into the air. Biden's a uh, cutting inside Modine, and Modine had it poked away, and the official will call a foul. Call a hold on Cade Harris. It's his first. We have had 17 fouls called, and we have played 12 minutes. As the free throw will be the first of two. That is good. Or that is no good, rather, on the first free throw for Miles Modine. Modine just a 33% free throw shooter, but it is a two shot. Uh, opportunity here for Modine because the double bonus and the second one is good. He makes one of two, 24-14. Modine's first point of the contest. TMP leads again by 10. Into the front court, Schulte who's back in for TMP. I'll give it off to Lang. Schulte right side, got it back from Lang. Drives to the baseline. Finds Chu off the screen. Ian's going to drive. Stop, kick it left side. They say traveled with it. That's the fifth turnover for TMP. 3.45 to play here in this first half. Neither coach decided they could wait very long. Charlie Russell comes back in for Tree Gill with those two fouls. And he's hoping that uh, your guys, your leader, can find a way to play stretches without picking up that third foul. Felt will work into the front court. Have it poked away by Lang. Now on the left baseline. And Wintling knocked it away from. Charlie Russell and it stays with the Trigo Golden Eagles. Coach Mayer wants a timeout with 3.34 to play here in this first half. Monarch Athletics brought to you part by Progressive Physical Therapy, Adams Brown, Jeter Law Firm, and Ellis County Abstract and Title. Scoreboard update at halftime. Hayes High on top of Scott City, out in Scott City. 27-18. That is a halftime score. Hayside trailed at 1.13 to 3. So back-to-back -back slow starts for the Indians. Keep an eye on that score. We'll also try and keep an update on some of the other scores from around the area. MCL scores today. Russell's at Plainville Smith Center matching up with Hoxie. We'll hope to have that one for you. In fact, we do. At halftime, Hoxie boys lead Smith Center 38 to 27. 
a couple of scores at halftime. Of course, we had an overtime game in our girls matchup, so we're a little bit behind. Out of the timeouts, 24-14. GMP leads by 10. Schubert will key it in for Trigo on that left sideline out there with Felt along with Russell, Day, and Trevin Brown, the five on the floor. They will go right side for Brown, guarded by Chu, one dribble. Out of the high post for Charlie Russell. Russell will swing it for Schubert. Schubert working against Harris at a poked out of bounds, and it stays with Trigo. Gunnar Wilson, the sophomore, replaces Felt. And for the Eagles, number 22, Gunnar Wilson. 3.18 to go first half. TMP leads 24-14. Schubert will get into Owen Day, the sophomore, who kicks it right side for Charlie Russell. Also gives it up to Schubert, now sets a screen. Schubert will just shoot it anyway and switch home the three. 24-17, Schubert feeling it. He's into now, or he's got seven now in the contest. Saib is going to be called for an offensive foul on the other end. Trying to get a little bit of space on that baseline, banged into Brown, and it will go back the other way. It's the sixth team foul, or it's the sixth turnover for TMP. It's the second on Bryce Saib. So you can add Saib to the list of Schulte, Worth and Romy all with two for TMP here in the first half. Under three minutes to go in this first half, TMP leads by seven at 24-17. Left side with it, Gunnar Wilson. They'll post up Schubert against Harris. He got away with a hook and forces up the shot. He goes up and over the top of Kate Harris. No call. Then we get a foul inside, finally, on Trigo. Kate Harris with a great box out, and Schubert went up and over the top of him. It was a clear foul. And then finally they get him for battling for the ball on the ground. I mean, he's on, he's, I mean, he's piggyback basically. He was up and on the top. So Harris will go to the other end and shoot a one-on-one. It's the first on Schubert. The free throw halfway down and out. Rebound tipped and Schubert will come down with it as Harris unable to convert on the one and one. Schubert up the near sideline. Little hesitation, kicks it to the right side for Gunnar Wilson. Out of Russell with it. Russell got to the elbow and has a shot blocked by Wintling and taken away by Lang as Wintling got a piece of that one. Here comes TMP up the floor to Harris. Over the top for side. Bryce straight on for three, no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Wintling. Jason realized he was wide open, short armed it and then they're gonna call him for what? A foul going against the rebound, okay. Now we go to the other end and shoot more free throws. Side so had a pretty good look at a three. Willing didn't realize he was wide open. It's the 10th team foul on TMP. We've had eight team, 18 team fouls called here in the first half. Free throw line to shoot two goes Owen Day. He is over at the line this year and he knocks down the first one. Owen is trying not to get a lane violation. 24 to 18. TFP will bring uh, Kenton Ginther, the 5'10 junior, in for the first time. And they're also going to bring Schulte back in. So Schulte will replace Harris. And Monarchs without Gavin Unride and now playing with three guys in foul trouble. Now it's four because Wintling has two as well. He's still out there. The free throw is good, 19-20, or 24-19 after the two free throws for Gunnar Wilson. Didn't look like he hadn't made any three or free throws. Here's a three right side for Kitten. Ginther missed it, but Wintling tipped it out to Kitten, and he's got another chance at it. As Ginther has it on that right side. Wintling, on my count, has four first half rebounds. Left side, Lang finds Wintling with it. Jason, the free throw line, will kick it for Ginther. Kenton wanted to shoot it right side for Schulte. Schulte finds Ginther with it. Now they'll swing it right side for Lang. Lang takes it right side for Ginther on that elbow. Schulte, deep three, straight on, no good, too strong. And the rebound down to Felt. Their piece went a little bit cold as the offense has struggled up by just five now at 24-19. Felt got to the free throw line, pulls up, left it too strong, and he and Chu down with a good rebound. As Chu pulls down his first rebound of the contest. Schulte up the floor, left side for TMP, picked up his dribble, finds Lang with a minute 20 to go here in the first half. TMP leads by five. Left side, Lang with it. Genther 
We'll swing it right side for Schulte, and it's stolen away. Taken away by Wilson. Wilson will go to the other end, and Ginther prevents him from getting a layup. May the first foul on Kitten Ginther. And free throws. That's the seventh TMP turnover. It's the first foul on Kitten Ginther. 110 to go here in this first half. Trigo shoot more free throws. Gunnar Wilson will get two. The lefty buries the first one. Wilson's a 50% free throw shooter. Aiden Brown will check in for the first time for TMP. 24 20. TMP led 21 9. Trigo has scored 11 of the last 14 points. Wilson's second free throw, halfway down and out, fight for the rebound, and it's taken away on the inside by Modine, who has four rebounds in the contest. Right side, Brown, they'll get it to Wilson, and a hand check called on Hayden Brown. More free throws for Trico. One minute to go, one minute, one second. That's a foul. It's a... A hand check is the first free throw. Line drive skips out for Owen Day. They just made two. See why he had struggled at the free throw line. Those two that he made were okay. That was a line drive that had no chance of going in. And this one a little bit better. He makes three of his first four at the line. 24-21. TMP's lead is dwindled down to three with under a minute to go here in this first half. Hayden Brown off a screen, picks up his dribble. Right side for Lang. Lucas has one of the only three field goals of this second quarter for TMP. It was a three a moment ago. Right side, he'll drive, kick it for Chu, and out of Schulte with it. Schulte hesitates, got some space, decided not to shoot it. As they play catch, Lang gets it back from Chu. Now right side for Hayden Brown. Brown finds Schulte off a screen. He'll rise and fire right side. It's off the heel, and the rebound down to Trevin Brown. TMP, just one of their first seven from three-point range with 23 seconds to go here in this first half. Trigo could tie it with a three. See what Felton Company decide to do. He'll hand it for Gunnar Wilson and now to Brown with it. Brown takes a peek at the scoreboard. And now to Felt with 10 seconds to go here in this first half. TMP's lead is three at 24-21. Felt behind his back, stops and throws it left side out of bounds. Off the hand of Modine. It's back to TMP on the fourth Trigo turnover. Monarchs have 2.4 seconds to go here in this first half. Whitling to key it in. They'll get it to Schulte. Schulte with two. Schulte across midcourt. Deep three-pointer. No good off the right side. Had a pretty good look at it, but TMP could not convert. Monarchs go one of nine, make it one of eight from three after that miss in the first half. They lead by three at 24-21. Back with the second half after this. Uh, actually, we'll get you the halftime show after this on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next Tech. Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Lawn, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor, the professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, Dry Cleaning, Laundry, Alterations, Tux Rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. Adams Brown, Barron, and Ball, 
your trusted advisors providing you with commitment, experience, and integrity. Hertz Rent-A-Car, bigger vehicle for a family trip or a car that gets excellent gas mileage for the next business trip? Book with Hertz Rent-A-Car on 8th Street in Hayes. Roofmasters Roofing and Sheet Metal and RM Custom Metals. When it hails, when it pours, one thing's for sure, Roofmasters is who you're looking for. Coming back. Back in Al Billinger Fieldhouse here at halftime with the TMP boys lead over Trigo at 24-21. We're joined now by Coach Rose McFarland. Her group earlier tonight so falls in overtime 39-32. Coach, that was a hard-fought battle. It was a uh, physical game. It seemed like both teams were extremely physical in that matchup, and they were able to get it to overtime just to come up short. Yeah, it seemed like we just kept crawling back. We would kind of let them get ahead, and then we'd get back in it, and then we'd let them get ahead. And... Uh, you know, we had a chance there at the end to finish out the game. and and But, you know, there's just so many things that happened during the game that just didn't go our way. And it seemed like defensively both teams really got after it. It was physical on the inside. thought you did a good job against uh, Schubert. Didn't allow Lily to really get going. Uh, Cassidy, Ghost and company really did a good job against her. Yeah, Cassidy and uh, um, Sophie Baltazar and then uh, also Kylie Allen running on uh, Madison Walt and, and Lily Schubert. They did a good job. You know, early in the game I thought they got – penetration on us a little more than we liked, but I thought the second half we did a lot better job of keeping them out of the paint. And uh, Those guys played really good defense. Uh, we just didn't get things going on offense. It just seemed like we weren't in a rhythm tonight. And offensively too, could some of that have been their physicality because it seemed like they let them play a little bit at times where it was, you know, Emily was double teamed a lot of the time and being kind of pushed around underneath where she could never really get open. It seemed like that may have had something to do with that. Yeah, they did a good job on her inside and, you know, our outside shots didn't fall early and, um, you know, just kind of got us out of rhythm and, you know, we, we kind of fought back, and but I, we'd missed some opportunities. I mean, we had some possessions where we just didn't take care of the basketball, and, and we got to take care of the ball and have a, have a shot every possession. And I thought they did a really good job defensively, but also on the boards. You know, they, they're a really good team at boxing out. But I, I think you feel like defensively that you're going to see a lot of that down the stretch, uh, especially when you get towards substate where there's going to be a lot of physical games. Do you feel like the girls kind of were able to get that, uh, maybe a little bit feel that out, and, and that'll help you down the stretch? Yeah, it's something we got to get better at. I mean, it seems like some, you know, we both tie the ball up, and they pull it out of our hands. we got to get tougher, you know, inside, and that's something we'll work on. But, um, you know, I'm proud of the girls for, you know, hanging in there. I look up, and I'm like, man, they should be blowing us away. I felt like the way we were playing, and, you know, we were right in the game. And, Credit that to, you know, playing tough defense and just hanging in there. But, uh, you know, Trigo's a good team, and some of the other girls stepped up tonight. And uh, I thought we did a good job on Lily and, and Madison. But we got to get better. We're going to get better. All right, very good. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll see you Friday. Okay, thanks. Let's get Coach Rose McFarland joining us here at halftime where her girls fall in overtime 39-32. We'll take a quick time out. We'll come back and get you some numbers from the first half of our boys game of the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next Tech. Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Long, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Thomas Moore Prep Marion, building communities of faith, knowledge, and service. Jeter Law Firm, proud to support student athletes, partners you can rely on. Jeter Law Firm. Are in a good one. At halftime, the TMP Marion Monarch boys trail the Trigo Go or uh, rather lead the Trigo Golden Eagles by a 24-21 margin. Monarchs led 
21 to nine early in that second quarter, but Trigo would uh, able to was able to uh, hold TMP to just a Lucas Lang three pointer down the stretch, and uh, cut the deficit to just three at 24 21. Real quickly, let's go ahead and uh, look at the first half scoring in the contest. Jackson Schulte had 11 for TMP. He's the only monarch in the double figures. Dylan Worth with seven. Lucas Lang hit that three. Cade Harris with a three. And that is all the scoring for TMP. Meanwhile, for Trigo, they get seven from Colby Schubert, which is close to his average. Cole Felt with three. Tyler Malston with four. Charlie Russell with two. Miles Modine with one. Owen Day with three, one from Gunnar Wilson. Caden Brown played in that first half, but did not score for TMP. The big story of the ball game, Trenton Romy, Dylan Worth, Jackson Schulte, Bryce Sive, Jace Wintling, all with two fouls in that first half. Meanwhile, for Trigo, big story for them, Charlie Russell with those two. Tyler Malsum also had two in that first half as well. TMP trails, or TMP leads by three at 24-21. Girls fall earlier today. Of course, we just heard from Coach Rose McFarland. They fall in overtime earlier today by that final at 39 to 32. So again, the TMP boys here at halftime lead 24-21. Uh, We're back with the second half after this on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas' premier roofing contractor. The Professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. At halftime, the TMP Marion Monarch boys on top of Trigo 24-21 back in to uh, our halftime show brought to you by Eagle Radio's Digital Marketing. Real quickly, a couple of scoreboard updates for you. We want to get you the Hoxie Smith Center boys score. It's uh, Hoxie with a runaway, 65-36 through three. Hayes High at halftime leads Scott City 27-18. Elsewhere, Goodland, uh, lead St. Francis 10 to 9. We tell you that because we just want to keep you up to date on TMP's sub-state. Uh, this is the final month of the regular season, so all these games count a little bit more heading down the stretch. Uh, other scoreboard update for you, we check in on that game between Russell and the uh, Plainville Cardinals. Right now, it is a six-point Russell lead at 45-39 there in Plainville. TMP leads here by 3, 24 21 as we get ready to start this second half. Welcome you aboard what should be a, a good finish to this one. For TMP, the key to the second half, stay out of foul trouble. Four starters have two fouls. Lucas Lang, the only one who does it, he didn't have a foul in that first half. Trico will go from our right to our left, shoot down to our left here in this second half of the basketball to start out the half. And those road purple uniforms, they go to the high post. So they work it for Tyler Molsom. He had four early points in the first quarter. Big minutes for him in that quarter. Right side, Schubert actually straight on. Now he goes to the right side. And a rise and fire jumper from the free throw line is good for Charlie Russell. Russell with four in the game, 24-23. TMP's lead is down to one. With seven and a half to go here in this third quarter. Lang off a screen, straight on. Stops, kicks it right side for Sive. Sive dumps it inside for Worth. Had it taken away by Ch Charlie Russell, who nearly traveled with it. Gets it back after the TMP turnover to Felt up the floor. Drives in, kicks it for Brown, and now to Russell. Russell will set a screen for Felt. Driving inside, has a little bit of a seam. Puts up the left-handed runner, missed it. Rebound down to Wintling. It's Jace will get his fifth rebound of the contest. Up the floor, Sive went behind the back and threw it away. Trying to get it to uh, Worth inside. It's the ninth TMP turnover on uh, back-to-back turnovers. Monarchs, Worth got into the lane and threw it behind his back. 
with seven minutes to go here in this first quarter. Wide open is Feld on a switch. He missed the three. Huge break for TMP. Schulte will rip down the rebound. Here comes TMP up the floor, left side with Seib. Not a Schulte. Lang with it. 6.40 to go in the third. Bryce, Seib. Left side for Wentling. Jace drives, kicks it for an open Lang for three. Yes, sir. Lang buries his second three of the contest. Six for him. And the lead quickly grows back to four at 27-23. The last two field goals for TMP, three-point field goals for Lucas Lack. 6.20 to go here in this third quarter. Trico back of the basketball. Russell trying to work on Wintling, puts up the jumper and banks it home. 27-25, he spun to the baseline and just banked it home. Russell with six, TMP with Lang into the front court. Needs some help as he... Had his dribble knocked away from him. Gets it back to Schulte, straight on. They'll post up Worth inside, and Russell's going to pick up the foul. That's a big foul because that's three on Charlie Russell. I think that's the race. Is It's a with six minutes to go in the third quarter. You hope it's not of a war of attrition. TMP will get it into Worth left side and scores it. 29-25. Dylan Worth was able to get free on the inbounds. He has nine in the game. TMP's lead grows back to four. Felt left side as they get it to Tyler Balsam. Balsam for the baseline as they go for Caden Brown, the junior. Gives it up, and now they swing it for Felt. Had it poked away, kept it. Goes to the right side for Russell. Russell working on Wintling will go up and left it short. May have had it blocked by Wintling, and it's taken away by Worth. He at least affected that shot as TMP will push it back the other way. Tried to go with the hook shot. I don't know if Wintling got a piece of it. I think Wintling may have hit it on the way up. The force to miss shot. Lang, high post for Saib. Saib looking in at Worth. Dylan was open, but he just couldn't force it in there. It was about a six-foot pass or so, and he could have got it. Wintling's open. Left side, Jace will give it off to Schulte, who traveled with it. Just that little hesitation coming across the screen. TMP leads by four. 5.02 to go in the third quarter. Monarchs a couple of different times missed Dylan inside. I feel like if Worth can take it right out, Russell, maybe he gets his fourth. With under five minutes to go in the third, TMP's lead has been cut to four at 29-25. It was one a moment ago here in this third quarter. Schubert nearly traveled with it right side. Now gives it off to Molsom. Molsom looking for a backdoor cut. It was deflected into the hands of Schubert. He lowered his shoulder. They call him for a travel. Could have been an offensive foul. Could have been a travel. Either way, he lowered his shoulder and Saib stood his ground. Turnover tree go. It's their fifth of the contest. Miles Modine, the junior, returns to the lineup for Trigo. And Charlie Russell will check out with 4.35 and counting here in this third quarter. TMP's lead is four at 29-25. Now they get it to Worth. He draws a triple team and he spins to the baseline and scores it anyway. 31-25, Worth has got the last four for TMP. It's in the double figures for a sixth time this season with 11 in the contest. 4.20 and counting third quarter. As Worth was able to spin to the baseline and score it against the smaller defensive players. Caden Brown guarded way out beyond the three-point line by Schulte. Out of Schubert with it. Schubert, left side he goes. Felt will drive on Lang. Drove into a double team, kicks it for Balsam. Balsam guarded by Wentling. Now picked up his dribble, needs some help, and Lang knocked it out of bounds. Right into the Trigo bench on the left sideline down in front of us. Monarchs will bring Chu and Harris back into the contest. Replacing Wentling and Side. As Trigo keys it in, they bring Gunnar Wilson back into the contest. Felt almost traveled with it, then draws a foul. They slid on the floor. And then put up the shot and drew the foul on Lucas Lang. That's the first on Lang. First of the second half on TMP. 3.49 to play here in this third quarter. Felt to the free throw line for the first time in the game. And he swishes home the first one. Felt's a 70% free throw shooter. That's four in the game. 31-26. Second free throw for Felt, good as well. Made them both, Felt with five. 31-27, TMP leads again by four. Kate Harris running the point for TMP. Harris will give it up to Lang, left side. They dump it for Worth, kicks it back out. Harris will take the long two, and Kate rattled it home. 
Harris with his second field goal. Harris has five on a little kickout jumper, 33-27. On the bucket for TMP's Kate Harris, they made three straight field goals. Felt picked up his dribble, able to get it to Schubert. Kick it left side for Molson. Or rather, Modine, and now to Molson with it. And Gunnar Wilson, right side. Wilson guarded by Schulte. About to get it to Miles Modine. Schubert, he's going to take the three, left it short. Offensive rebound down to Molson, and we get a foul on TMP. Trigo's done a pretty good job of getting to the glass. They've been a little. It's the third on Worth. They have. Trigo's been more aggressive on the glass and quicker to the basketball at times than TMP. Side returns to the TMP lineup. So does Trenton Romy. That's the third on Worth. With 3.07 to go here in the third. Gunnar Wilson to key it in. Lobs it over the top for Molson. Schubert with it. Simon is hip pocket. Right side they go to Molson. Molson finds Gunnar Wilson off a screen on the right side. Wilson will drive. Cut off and out of Molson on that right side. Trevin Brown's back in. He's got it left side. Now gives it up. Gunnar Wilson. They dump it for Schubert. Working on side. Turns after a drive on the post. Missed the shot. Rebound. It's going to be tipped by Chew into the hands of Trenton Romy. Here comes TMP up the floor. Schulte left side. He'll get into the lane. Hangs and hits. Jackson Schulte nice in for another one. 13 for him. TMP has made four straight field goals. 35-27 after the Jackson Schulte field goal. The lead grows to eight with 2.25 to go in the third. Balsam, Trigo with Gunnar Wilson. Wilson guarded by Harris. As Cade reached in, tried to take it away from him. Now to Schubert with it. Schubert back to Wilson with it. The lefty, one dribble. Out of Molson, they say swing it off to the right side for Miles Modine. Modine finds Brown. Brown, well, he's going to take the long two. He got some space and knocked it home. Brown with his first field goal. 35 29, two minutes to go. Here in this third quarter, as Brown gets his first field goal. He just had a little bit of space. Schulte to answer for three, and he rattled it home from the left side. Jackson Schulte with 16 in the contest for TMP. They made six straight field goals, 38-21. On the Jackson Schulte free, uh, three, he's got five in a row. Timeout, tree go. As Coach, uh, Coach Dryling will take the timeouts. 38 29, TMP with the lead at that timeout. Our game brought to you in part tonight by Insurance Planning, also brought to you by Roofmasters Roofing and Sheet Metal, Master Cleaners, Paul Wardenberger Construction, Jeff Darrell and Linda Seibel and Edward Jones and Hayes and Thomas Moore Prep Marion. Earlier today, the TMP Lady Monarchs fall in overtime 39 to 32 at the hands of the Trigo Golden Eagles. A side boys win tonight, 57-35. As they're able to pull away from Scott City. Phillipsburg falls to Oakley tonight, 64-60 in boys action. Trigo to key it in as Caden Brown will get it in to Miles Modine. Left side. As Owen Day checked back in, he gives it up, finds Brown. Brown off the top of the curl, missed it on a layup, had a wide open layup and missed it. I think he knew Worth was coming over the top as Dylan pulled down his fourth rebound. Schulte hesitates, now to Bryce Syme. Wintling, right side. As, uh, Harris is open after the defender went for the steal, gets it to Wintling. Jace missed the layup, worked down with a rebound, tips it a couple of different times. Brown has it and taken away by Trigo. As Charlie Brown took it away and now lost it at midcourt, and they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. Good hustle by TMP and Kate Harrison company. Monarchs had a couple of different good looks at it inside, but could not convert. But luckily for them, Brown lost it out of bounds. So Trigo, the minute six to go here in the third quarter. We'll turn it back over. 38-29, TMP with the lead in the basketball. Harris, it's a play from Coach Mayer on the sideline, right side. They post up Worth, draws a triple team, turns, can't score over the top of it, tipped it to his own hands, and then they're going to call a foul inside. He was battling with Charlie Russell, and that's the fourth on Dylan Worth, and that's just, you just don't want to have that happen. As he checks in and gets to play about 30 seconds, if that, and gets the foul. So that's a huge foul, as Dylan will have to set much 
I would imagine here the second half in this third, now into the getting ready to go into the fourth quarter. We've got less than a minute left in the quarter. Russell working on Wentling. Good defense by Wentling, who forces a tough shot by Charlie Wilson, but or Charlie Russell rather, but he scores it anyway. Russell has eight, 38-31. CMP's lead is down to seven after the bucket for Russell. Side kicks it left side. Wentling now to the baseline. Schulte for three. This one off the heel. Romy kept it alive, balls on the floor, diving forward is a Wintling, ball on the baseline, and taken away by Brown. Jace nearly had it on that baseline, but it's taken away by Trevin Brown. Up the floor, Felt working against Harris, tough runner, no good, side down with a rebound. I think Bryce got away with a push, and then Brown just took it from him from behind, and then he made the layup, nearly missed it. So Brown gets the bucket to go. He has four with two seconds to go in the third. They get it to Romy. Trenton from three, halfway down and out, but they'll say it was after the buzzer. 38-33, that bucket by Brown cuts the deficit to five after the TMP turnover. So we head to the fourth quarter. Monarchs have a five-point lead at 38-33. On the Monarch Sports Network, it's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Contact shelter insurance agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas' premier roofing contractor. The professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout Western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. TMP with a five-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. Monarchs with Lang, Saib, Wintling, Romy, and Schulte. The five on the floor. Dylan Worth on the bench with those four fouls. Big minutes here for Trenton Romy, who nearly knocked down a three at the end of that quarter. They say he was just after the buzzer. Lang off a screen. Straight line three. Missed it. Romy wrestles down the rebound. Good hustle. They call it a jump ball. Romy is the arrow will belong to Trigo. It wrestled that away from the Trigo rebounder, but they say that it was a jump ball. But also by Trenton and nearly came away with an extra possession for TMP. 7.40 to go here in this one. TMP's lead has been cut to five at 38-33. Right side, Brown, who knocked down that layup before the end of the third quarter, gives it up left side for Owen Day. Day guarded by Seib, left side for Russell. He bangs into Whitling, offensive foul. That's a huge foul. That's the fourth on Charlie Russell. So back the other way, it's the seventh Trigo turnover. It's the second on the uh, Trigo Golden Eagles. Russell will come out. It's awful. It was uh, it was a player control foul. Good job by Jace Whitling to draw that foul. 7.24 to go in the contest. TMP's lead is five at 38-33. High post, they go to Wentling. He'll get a screen from Romy. Chase kicks it right side. Lang for three. It skips off. Rebound tipped by Romy and in the hands of Schulte. As Jackson will come down with it. Right side. Wentling cut off. Back to Schulte as they swing it from now to the right to the left for side. Side sees Wentling come across top of the key. Gives it right back. Now Schulte with it. He got a screen from Wintling. He's going to pull up left side with some contact, and he spun it home anyway. Schulte with a grand 18-40 to, tw- uh, to 33 on the bucket for Schulte. He had a smile for Bryce Seib, who got the assist on that pass. GMP student section trying to pick up the intensity here with 6.40 to go in the contest. Here's a ball nearly stolen by Lang. He got banged into by Day, and then Trigo saves it. It's off the foot of Day. And now Bryce Seib just reaches in and takes it away from Day, and he'll reach in and commit the foul. Seib just didn't give up on the play, and Day kind of took a breath because he thought he was going to catch a break, and TMP just kept after it, and the hell, the um, hold will be on Owen Day. It's his first. Harris will check in, so the Monarchs 
will go as Gunnar Wilson checks in for Day. This is the small lineup, and we talked about that with Coach Mayer in the pregame show. The versatility that Wentling and company at that four allow you to do this. Is they'll go with really no big on the floor. Lang for Wentling as they run the weave. Now to Schulte. Schulte's got a lay and goes in with the left hand. Missed the shot. And the rebound down to Miles Modine, who's got five rebounds of the contest. Trico with 6.05 to go in this fourth quarter. Back with the basketball. TMP's lead is seven at 40 to 33. Schubert, he'll take the straight on three. It's a set shot. Missed it. And Schulte rips down the rebound. Schulte down with his third rebound. He'll cross over Wilson into the front court, hand it for Lang. Lucas got into the lane, his pass deflected, but it gets out to the left side and a side. Schulte back to side, but now to Kate Harris with it. Right side for Lang. A little hesitation back to side as they run that little dribble drive handoff. It's kind of that weave said as Schulte gets in, forces the issue, and they call it travel. His argument is he's getting fouled. I don't think there's... Any doubt there's contact, I think the question is, is this crew gonna call it? And the answer is no. So the foul, or the turnover will be the 12th for TMP with five and a half to go in the game. TMP leads by seven. Posting up is Russell who's back in there and he scores it. He just shoved Jace Wentling so far that Jace had nowhere to go. Russell into double figures with 10, 40 to 35 as coach Sean Dryling decides to go to the bench and get his best player back out there with four fouls. So close in on five minutes to go in the contest. They get it back to five. Schulte has it left side. Schulte for Lang. Top of the key got free. Lobs it over the top for Harris on the right wing. Not a bright side. Five minutes to go on this one. TMP's lead is five. And now we're going to get a foul as Felt reached from behind and poked it away. We had 18 team fouls called on the two teams. 12 minutes in to our first half. We've had seven, and we have just under five minutes to go now in the second half. Coach Sean Dryling's trying to get a timeout. Apparently, I'm the only one who hears him on the left side. TMP will get it in. Worth, who's back in, catches it, misses the layup, and then he fouled Charlie Russell. That's the fifth on Dylan Worth. He missed the layup. He tried to stay after it, and he's just fouled out of the contest with 4.53 to go in the ball game. It's the fourth on TMP. Coach Sean Dryling was yelling for a timeout, and nobody heard him, and unfortunately for TMP, that actually is going to hurt them instead of the Trigo Golden Eagles because your big man just fouled out of the ball game. Worth fouls out with 11 points and six rebounds. Missed the layup, tried to stick with it, and went over the top of Charlie Russell. That's a huge foul. Both coaches decided to take the, the gamble. Russell comes back in with his four, so Coach Mayer brings in Worth with his four, and Dylan picks up the foul. So Marks will have to go the rest of the way without their second leading score, and Dylan Worth. Monarch Athletics brought to you in part in this one by State Glass Company. High Plains Roofing, Field Abstract and Title Company, and Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker. Russell on top of Plainville there in that fourth quarter, 60 to 48. On our Hayes Post scoreboard update, Hayes High wins tonight. Mentioned that earlier, 57-35 over Scott City. So out of the timeouts, Gunnar Wilson will key it in with Felt, Schubert, Russell, and Moles on the five on the floor for Trigo. TMP will extend the pressure with Lang into the backcourt against Felt. Lucas making him work across the timeline. Now to Russell with it, guarded by Wentlet. Left side, they go to Felt. Felt. Deciding what to do with it. Being harassed the entire time by Lang. Swings it left side. Russell got Wintling off his feet. Russell drives in and is fouled by side. Bryce reached in and tied him up. So Charlie Russell will shoot two. 64% free throw shooter. That's the third on Bryce side. But it's the fifth on TMP. Wintling got off balance. And the Russell foul too strong. Russell over two at the line, 64% free throw shooter. And 
And the second free throw is good. Russell makes one of two. He has 11, 40 to 36. TMP's lead is four again. Four and a half to go in the contest. Simon to the front court, high left elbow they go for Wentling, who finds Harris on the right elbow, kicks it right side for side. Off a screen comes Wentling, or rather si or, uh, Schulte, who finds Wentling. And now they give it up for side, left side. Bryce will drive in, cut off into the lane, turns over the top of Schubert and scores it. That was not an easy play for the 5'11 junior side who gets his first field goal of the contest. He was kind of caught in the middle of nowhere and then just turns and fires it on a fadeaway. That was pretty. Four minutes to go in this one, 42-36. Schubert off a screen, left side will drive in, got all the way to the bucket and scores. Timeout, Trigo. 42-38, Schubert got all the way to the bucket and nobody stopped him. Schubert has nine, it's a timeout. We're across the top of the nine o'clock hour, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. The Monarchs Sports Network is powered by Herman Physical Therapy on 99.5 KHAZ and HazePost.com. Our score with 3.50 to go in the fourth quarter, 42-38, TMP with the lead. Monarchs led at 1.21 to nine, but then Trigo was able to rally Cut the deficit to three at 24-21. That was thanks in large part to a stretch in which TMP had to play without a majority of their starters due to foul trouble. It was wrong on the scoreboard updates. Plainville actually leads Russell 63-51. to Had that wrong, so that's a Hayes Post scoreboard update. Out of the timeouts, Monarchs will have the basketball. With Harris, Lang, Whitling, Seib, and Schulte, the five on the floor. It's a big stretch here. Trigo does have Russell out there with his four fouls. Felt along with Malsom, Schubert, and Gunnar Wilson, the five on the floor. Schulte for Lang with it. Lang got a screen now for Seib. Seib right wing for Harris. They go to the baseline for Lang. Schulte drew a double team. Couldn't do anything with it. And now back to Bryce side with it. Bryce will drive, kick it right side for Lang. Little reach in. Lang got cut off on the baseline out of Whitlick. TMP continues to work this little dribble drive, weave handoff offense. Lang got free, finds Whitlick. Jace will go in, have it blocked, but a foul coming, and that will do it for Charlie Russell. That might be the most frustrating part about tonight's ball game. So we have two of the premier bigs in the mid continent League, and both of them will foul out with... A lot of time left here in this fourth quarter. Russell will fall out with 3.18 to play in the game. Dylan Worth fouled out with 4.53 to go. Whitling will go back to the free throw line. Jace, 0 for 2 in the game. And the first one is off the heel and no good. Whitling came in 7 of 14 at the line. Need to hit one here. Caden Brown, the 5'10 junior, returned to the lineup for Trigo. He replaced Russell. Second Wentling free throw is too strong off the heel, and a rebound down to Molson. Over at the line, into the front court. Wilson will hand it right side for Felt. Felt got a seam, cut off on the baseline, needs some help. I'll kick it for Gunnar Wilson, right side. Wilson kicks it right back to the right side for Felt. Dribbled into Lang, now picked up his dribble, bounce pass stolen away by Schulte. Schulte, outlet up the floor, left side, Lang. Lang, touch pass up the floor, Harris can't score it. Rebound on the floor, and we're going to get a TMP foul. Monarchs had a pretty good look at it. I mean, they call Wentling for a push underneath. It's the third on Wentling. 42-38. Schubert for Trigo back the other way. Brown with it. TMP's lead with 241 and counting here is four at 42 38. Wilson drives and a tie up by Schulte. Great play by Schulte. The arrow belongs to TMP. That was a huge defensive play by Jackson Schulte. He just tied up the shooter and was able to force the alternate possession back the other way. That's a huge defensive play. With 2.35 to go. Schulte made maybe the defensive play so far of the year. That was a great play. 
as he was able to get the tie up. He's made two really good plays defensively here in the fourth quarter. Owen oh, Day returned to the Trigo lineup as they extend the pressure. TMP breaks it across the timeline with Syb and now a line. Trigo extending that defense, guarding Schulte out beyond the volleyball line. And now to Kate Harris right side and they'll foul Cade with the 2.13 to play here in the fourth quarter. And that foul will put them with six team fouls. That's Katie. Comes with 2.13 to go here in the fourth quarter. So TMP will key it in with Schulte next to Coach Mayer down to our right. Schulte will key it in to Lang. Lang hesitates, working against Felt. Little crossover, able to get away from him. Now play it left side for Saib. Back to Harris. They try and foul Cade. They don't call it right side for Lang. Until they want to foul Harris. And that's about it. Lang all the way to the bucket. Left side going in and scoring the layup is Jace Wintling. 44-38 on a pass from Lucas Lang. Wintling able to get that one home. And then nearly a steal on the other end as Harris knocked a pass out of bounds. It stays with Trigo. And that is a huge bucket with a minute 49 to play in this one. Timeout taken by Trigo. It's a full timeout as Coach Dryling wants to talk things over. That was a great play. On the offensive side for TMP as Lang was able to break down the defense and Whitley came through and they needed him too with a big layup inside. The Monarchs lead by six at 44 to 38. Timeouts on the floor. Comes with a minute 49 to play in this one. Our girls game went to overtime. Saw the Trigo girls outlast the TMP girls by 739-32. TMP Athletics brought to you part by Discount Siding, Heartland Building Center, Steel Fabrications, Gibbs Auto Supply, Midwest Synergy, and Next Tech. 44-38, TMP with a six-point lead. Monarchs trying to keep pace in the Mid-Continent League, as is the Trigo Golden Eagles. Trigo at four and one, TMP at three and one. Unfortunately, both of them know what it feels like to lose twice to Hoxie, both in the MCL tournament and the regular season. Mentioned on our Hayes Post scoreboard update earlier, Oakley beats Phillipsburg in boys' action tonight, 64 to 60. It's big all the way around for both the Norton 3A substate and the MCL race for Phillipsburg as they now have three MCL losses. Right side out of the timeout. Schubert threw it away. Good play by Lang. And now the official, I'm not sure what he's asking for the sideline official to maybe make a call of some sort, but it's out of bounds. Trigo threw it away. Good defense by Lang inside, forcing the 10th Trigo turnover. TMP breaks the pressure again. Monarchs with Simon to the front court. Now to Schulte with it. Trying to play keep away with a minute 35 to play here in the fourth quarter. Schulte near the midcourt line. will glob it over the top for Lang. Lang hesitates. Lang now to Saib, who will hand it right back to Schulte. Schulte with a minute 24 to go here in the fourth quarter. will draw the foul. And now a one and one. As the Trigo Golden Eagles will be over the limit on the foul called on Owen Day. It's a second on Day. Schulte to shoot a one and one. Wilson will replace Schubert. That's Schulte will shoot a free throw here. First Schulte free throw, rattles home. Jackson Schulte with 19 in the contest. 45-38. EMP leads by seven. Schulte, one more free throw. Second one on the way, good as Simon Malsum get tangled up. They just gonna call a timeout, so no foul. 20 points in the game for Schulte. It's 46-38. <laughs> you didn't know the way this one is gone with two guys hit the deck on a free throw that went in. Who knows? So we had to make sure that they counted the free throw. 46-38. Timeout taken by Coach Mayer and company on the near sideline. 123 to go in this one. TMP rushed out to a 21-9 lead. Trigo was able to come back and cut it within three. 
at 24-21 at the break, and that was thanks in large part to the foul trouble that TMP found themselves in in the first half. Trinket would get the deficit back to one at one point there in that third quarter. Trio then, or TMP rather, led by five at 38-33 through three. And here in this fourth quarter, trying to pull away for the victory. Monarchs out of the timeout with Wintling, Harris, Lang, Schulte inside, the five on the floor. And I started to talk about it earlier. We talked with Coach Mayer about Wintling, Chu, and Unrine's ability to kind of play that hybrid they're really, you know, they can all play the three, but they're a four. And so it's really a, almost a five guard lineup where anybody on the floor right now can handle the basketball, especially with no big guy in Worth who fouled out a long time ago. Out of the timeout, Trigo with Felt will run into the front court, put up the shot and score it. 46-40, Cole Felt with the uh, bucket. TMP will get it across the timeline, bounce pass up the floor, and Harris lost it out of bounds. TMP had a fast break layup with Cade Harris, but he bobbled it out of bounds. And so Trigo will get it back. Felt has seven now in the contest following that bucket. TMP turns it over for the 13th time. 107 to go in this one. TMP's lead is six. As the Monarchs with Lang extending the pressure in the backcourt, and then they call a blocking foul on Lang. The natives have been restless the entire time. That's the seventh team foul on TMP, and so it's one-on-one -on, -one on Lang. You extend the pressure because you want to make them work some clock, make it difficult for them to bring it across the timeline, but unfortunately, because the way the game has been called, you really just don't know what is going to be called at sometimes. A, a little contact with the body of any gets called for a foul, and now you send a guy to the line who's a 70% free throw shooter, but he will miss the free throw, and we get a foul as they'll call Trevin Brown for being on top of Jace Whitling as Jace ripped down a six rebound. So Jace will go back to the other side and shoot free throws. You get a break, felt a 70% free throw shooter. He was two of two and he misses the front end of a one and one. He picks up his third and now Whitling will go to the other end where he will shoot a one and one. First Whitling free throw is good. That's a huge free throw for Jace. It's one of five at the line of the night. He needed that one, 47-40. Second Wentling free throw is too strong. Jace follows it, trying to keep it alive. Into the hands of Harris. Cade among four will pull it out of there. Wentling made a huge play, and then Brown will foul Brace Sibe and send Sibe to the free throw line to shoot a one and one Wentling didn't get the rebound, but he kept it alive. His motor has been a difference maker in this ball game. You'll have to have that all season long from Jace because he can give you stuff that other guys can't with just his athleticism and his motor. And just like that, he gets an offensive rebound and out of the free throw line to shoot a front end of a one-on-one -on -one is Harris. And guess who went like down with a rebound? What a huge offensive rebound in among two defenders. He pulled it down after the missed free throw. TMP now will try and burn some clock with 45 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, leading by seven. Lang trying to play keep away. Gunnar Wilson trying to reach in. They get it to Schulte. Schulte is most, or rather fin, uh, felt rather said I fouled him. They won't call it. It's Schulte, and now he's got to just grab a hold of him, and Felt will pick up the foul. So two free throws. Actually, it'll be one free throw. No, it is 10. So they were a little late getting it up there. So the free throw coming for Schulte is two of them. He has 20 in the contest. First of the two is good. 21 for Schulte. That foul was the third. I called it on Brown. TMP's lead is eight at 48-40. And the second Schulte free throw is good. 49-40. Schulte with 22 in the contest as he makes both free throws. Into the front court, we get a push called on a screen on Lucas Lang. Lang trying to extend the pressure. Third. 
Uh, so going back to last Friday night, TMP boys have got to do a better job of communicating on screens. Um, as the first of the one on one is good for Tyler Molsom. Molsom has five in the game. Lang got, again, blindsided by a screen, 49-41. And nobody told him the screen was coming. And then he gets called for the foul. Same thing happened against Abilene. Mosa will make both free throws. Tyler has six in the game. 49-42. Owen Day returns to the lineup with 28 seconds to go here in this fourth quarter. TMP with the lead. Harris keys it into Schulte, into the backcourt. Schulte will bring it across the timeline as he's able to race into the front court, and then Trevin Brown will reach in and foul him again. Two more free throws for Jackson Schulte. With 23 and a half seconds to go. Brown picks up his fourth. Schulte back to the free throw line. Schulte, couple of dribbles, will spin it and shoot it and knock it down. 23 in the game for Schulte. 50 to 42. TMP with the lead. Schulte's second free throw, good as well. Schulte now with 24 in the game for TMP. Lead grows to 51-42. With 20 seconds to go on this one, into the front court. Three short, rebound down to Schulte after the deflection. And that's going to do it. Trigo will not foul. And TMP is going to come away with the victory. The Monarchs will get a win here in this one as they are able to hold out the Trigo Golden Eagles. 51-42 as the Monarchs will pick up their 10th win of the year, go to 10-4, and 4-1 and one in the MCL. Trigo will fall to 4-2 and 10-4 and and in the Mid-Continent League. Monarchs are able to pull away for a 51-42 victory over the Trigo Golden Eagles. So TMP gets the victory. They get back into the win column after that loss last time out as they're able to uh, rally and uh, really hold off a late rally by Trigo to win 51-42. Monarchs led by Jackson Schulte, who finished with 24 in the contest. Dylan Worth with 11. Meanwhile, Charlie Russell, before he fouled out, had 11 in the game for Trigo. Again, our final 51-42. The TMP boys hold on for the victory on the Monarch Sports Network. It's powered by Herman Physical Therapy. Next Tech. Get a great deal on internet, video, voice, and business services from the technology experts. Next Tech. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative providing safe, reliable, and efficient energy services and promoting growth throughout the region. Gibbs Auto Supply, over 200,000 parts and accessories and great staff to take care of you in Hayes and La Crosse. Steel Fabrications, when you need something fixed and you need it done fast and need it done right, call Steel Fab. Heartland Building, when it's time to get the job done, see why so many builders rely on Heartland Building Center with a huge stock of building materials. Hayes K. Lawn, Kirk Maska and Kurt Viner. State Glass Company, locally owned and operated since 1948. Fifth and Main, downtown Hayes. Contact Shelter Insurance Agent Dustin Shoemaker in Northridge Plaza, Hayes. High Plains Roofing, Western and Central Kansas's premier roofing contractor, the professionals, High Plains Roofing of Hayes. Discount siding, new siding, energy efficient windows and doors, vinyl fencing, and other exterior home products. Improve the beauty and energy efficiency of your home. Click on discountsiding.net. Edward Jones, providing a reasoned and disciplined approach to investing, making sense of investing. Paul Wurtenberger Construction, building Northwest Kansas's dreams since 1983. Master Cleaners, dry cleaning, laundry, alterations, tux rentals, and much more. They have numerous pickup locations throughout western Kansas to serve you. Field Abstract and Title, take pride in your athletic, academic, and artistic achievements. Adams, Brown, Barron, and Ball, your trusted advisors providing you with commitment, experience, and integrity. Hertz Rent-A-Car, bigger vehicle for a family trip or a car that gets excellent gas mileage for the next business trip? Book with Hertz Rent-A-Car on 8th Street in Hayes. Roofmasters Roofing and Sheet Metal and RM Custom Metals. When it hails, when it pours, one thing's for sure, Roofmasters is who you're looking for.